Okay. In this video, we are building a high converting Shopify website together from start to finish. We're gonna kick this video off by one, going over key attributes that make a Shopify store a high converting one. So what are the key attributes that you need to make sure that your Shopify store has so that you are optimizing for the max conversion rate possible. So at least you know when you enter the marketplace that you've built something that is generated to make sales to your highest potential. Then we're gonna be covering actually building out the website. So I'm going to build out a Shopify store live on camera with you. Finally, if you stay to the end, I'm going to share an extra secret sauce tip of how you can increase your checkout page conversion rate by 20%. That's pretty much it. So let's get into this video. Back guys, my name is Hannah Gardner. If you're new to the channel, I talk about how to build brands mainly on Etsy and Shopify, but a lot of other entrepreneurship stuff as well. So if that is what you're into, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I fundamentally believe that having more go-getter growth mindset people in this world makes this world a better place. So let's just get into this video without wasting any more time. What are the key attributes of a Shopify store that makes it a high converting or easily converting Shopify Stores. I'm just gonna go ahead and just name off a list of things that making sure that you're optimizing your store for the highest conversion possible. So the first thing that you need to make sure with the website that you build, I personally build everything on Shopify. Shopify, when it comes to selling physical products is by far obviously just the best platform compared to Swix, Squarespace, I don't care. I don't care how much you argue it. Shopify for selling physical products is the best. The first thing that you need to make sure that your website that you build has, whether it's on Shopify or not, one is that there's fast load times. If you don't grab someone's attention within the first three seconds, similar to YouTube, you've already lost the sale. So it's important that your website loads extremely fast. Shopify websites do tend to load very, very fast. If you guys wanna sign up for Shopify in my affiliate link below that does support my channel as a small commission will go to me. Please go ahead and support the channel if you feel like you got any value out of this video. A free Shopify trial under my link, that would mean the world to me. Next thing is a checkout process. So it is very normal to have out of every hundred people that come to your website only get one, two, maybe three sales. If you get five sales out of a hundred clicks, that's considered a very high conversion rate. So in order to make sure that you're optimizing those few people that are actually gonna make it to your checkout page and purchase, you need to make sure that your checkout process is seamless. That means there's no lag in the checkout process. You're not having any weird load delays. It needs to be intuitive and it needs to be fast. Luckily with most Shopify themes that you can purchase or even the free themes, they already optimize for this for you. That leads me into my third attribute which is making sure a huge part of this is making sure that your theme is compatible for mobile and desktop. So a lot of times when people build their websites on Squarespace or Wix, you know, it looks beautiful on desktop, but then when you go onto mobile, for whatever reason, the mobile view of it just looks horrible. I will say contingent on your niche, I can strongly say that a huge bulk of your sales are gonna be purchased through mobile. So more so than your desktop, you need to be making sure that your mobile view and compatibility to the mobile view is optimized. That leads me to number four, your navigation for your website should be intuitive. When you go to the menu navigation bar, people should be able to intuitively know where they need to go and find things. It should not be confusing. A really good website, that is a really good example of a website that does this horribly, but they're a huge brand is Zara. Zara's website is absolutely horrible and not optimized for e-commerce. The load time is fast, but there is no nap. When you get to their homepage of their website, it's super confusing. In the first three seconds, I don't see anything to buy. And that leads me to my next attribute was having seen something to purchase within the first three seconds. Ideally on mobile, you go to the homepage in that same first screen without actually having to swipe up, you are already seeing products listed there for a purchase or able to click on right away. Zara is a really, really good example of this who does it really bad. Even when you finally manage to go to their menu bar and go to a collection page, it's super unintuitive. It doesn't show many products. It shows like 
one product at a time. They're a really big brand, but they're lacking when it comes to e-com and optimizing for actual sales. Finally, the last thing that I cannot emphasize enough is making sure that your website is showing reviews and also collecting reviews. Reviews are such a huge part of social proof, especially if you're driving traffic from you know Instagram or TikTok and you're running paid ads or maybe on Google and you know you're running your ads to cold traffic so to people that don't already know you it's really really hard to convert cold traffic into sales especially on their first time visiting your website sometimes people need to come back you know 5 6 7 times before they actually convert into a customer so it's important that you're providing as much social proof as possible and reviews is a really really good way to do this i am personally using an app called Loop. Luke's, Luke's, I have a whole video dedicated to them. We're gonna dive more into Luke's once I have a computer here so I can show you how I optimize my Luke's account to collect video reviews, photo reviews, and also how I showcase them in various spots on my website. Those are some of the key attributes and the important things that you need to pay attention to or keep in mind when you think about the psychology of what is important for building your Shopify website. Now I'm gonna hop actually into my computer screen and I'm going to build out a full Shopify theme with you live. And remember, if you stay to the end after this tutorial, I am giving away that secret sauce tip that should increase your checkout page conversion rate by at least 20%. We're inside of a sample account here in my Shopify dashboard. If you're completely new to Shopify. I would encourage you to come into the home page here and under all of these side tabs here, start kind of going through exploring these, learning how to use these. Before doing anything, I would highly recommend that you come into the products tab here. And inside the products tabs here, you'll see I have a bunch of products already listed. But even before listing some products and adding a product, I would come here to the collection tab and start creating some collections. And then once you've created some collections, even if it's only one collection in the beginning, I would then go and actually add a product and inside of setting up your product, you can add that product to your collection. The reason why I think this is important to do before the psychology of doing this before you actually start working inside of your website, the front end website, and making it look pretty. When you do that before, it helps you visualize better what your pictures are gonna look like, um, how you want them displayed on the front end of things. I also recommend, obviously, this video is how to set up a e-commerce website. So I'm not gonna go through the back end as much as some of my other videos, but if you do need help with a full training on the entire Shopify you know, database, I would check out that video maybe before, but also that video includes a lot of the other things inside of building out the front end. So this video is specifically building out the website. So at the front end of the website, again, I have a video on the whole thing if you do need that full training. The thing that I wanna do mention before we get into the customizing our theme is to also make your life a little bit easier or make you understand um, how things are being displayed from the back end to your, of your web of your Shopify account to your front end um, is by coming here into the navigation tab. Under the navigation tab, you're gonna see a menus section here where you can set up your main menu and your footer menu. And I would recommend that you come in here and set up your menus here first before you start editing your theme. So then you can see from you know understand from the back end how your menu is going to display on the front end when we uh, start working on the front end so i have my menus uh set up here i have a home i have a pillows cover underneath that pillow covers i have all the collections of the types of pillows that we offer i have a decor collection a review section and about us or who are we page um now a couple of things that i want to mention here there is a difference between collection pages that show products and pages that are like contact us pages or like a review page. So the decor button leads to a collection of products. The, the pillow covers button leads to options of all of my other collections. So if I wanted to add another collection here, I could put the collection name here and it's going to give you the option to link it to a collection or to a specific product or to a page, a blog post, a policy page. But for the most part, you're going to be linking it to a collection page for the most part product or a page that you make. 
or it could be like a contact us now page. But because we already have a contact us now page, it's not giving me the option here. So let's just say we're going to link it to any collection. I'll just put that collection here and then I would add it there. So now this, if after I saved it, it would be showing up on the front end of my website. Now, if I wanted to move it, you simply pick it, drag and drop. If I wanted this to be a sub drop down, if I wanted the decor to be a drop down button that opened up to a bunch of different collections, I could just put it in dead end here uh, slightly. Now, obviously I want to delete this, um, but I would recommend you come in here and do this and you know, do this before so you kind of can start, you know, thinking about the flow of your website before you get into actually building the online themes. So, so inside of Shopify, you see you have your themes here, and this is where your published theme is going to show up. And the theme that I have published right now is called the Symmetry Theme. Now, uh, Shopify does offer free themes if you come down here and explore free themes. And essentially what a theme is, it's a template that you can build off of. So it's kind of more just drag and drop designing your website instead of, you know, say hiring a coder or somebody to build your website from scratch. So instead of spending thousands of dollars, Shopify is going to offer you either a free theme or you can go and purchase a theme. I highly recommend using a purchase theme. I think they look more professional. The theme that I bought is Symmetry. This is by Clean Canvas and inside the Shopify theme store, you can purchase and also shop around for many themes, but this is the Symmetry theme. This is what the theme looks like in the demo. Uh, and I just really, really love its features. I like how they have the fade in features. I like how they offer a form. I like how there's so much customized ability within this theme. Like for instance, how this switches back and forth from one image to another to really showcase the product. You're just not going to get a lot of those in-depth features with free themes. And so that's why Shopify has a theme store where you can purchase more advanced themes. Just like here, when you come up to the menu bar and you see images instead of just words, like all of that is because this is a paid theme. And I really love the Clean Canvas products and there's many, many to choose from. So if you're interested in that, check out my link in the description for the Symmetry theme or any other themes from Clean Canvas. So essentially what I'm gonna do here to start building my theme, which I already have it completely built. I'll show you here. I would click customize, or I would come down here and I would go to say, I would go to the theme store. I can just show you really quick. Type in clean canvas. Say I wanted to try out this theme right here. And now it's adding the theme to my online store. And now you will see that it's inside of my theme library. It's right here. It's called Alchemy. So that is just an example of how you get the theme in there. And again, it's in the trial. And if I wanted to purchase it, I would just hit buy here and then I would be able to purchase the theme. Basically, if I wanted to edit this theme for my website, I would come here and I would hit customize. And this is what it looks like inside of your dashboard. Obviously, this is a copy, so this looks very complete, but let's just pretend all these sections were empty, which I can show you an example of what an empty, what empty, se empty sections look like. So this is what it would have looked like without any of the images in there. Let's go back to the symmetry theme that we're going to be editing off of, since obviously this website example here is symmetry. And let's talk about how we got a lot of this optimized. So the first thing that we want to do is basically start from the top to the bottom on every single page. So it's very, very easy to edit themes, whether you're on the free plan or not, because basically the makeup of this page, all of your sections are displayed on the left side of the screen. And then when you click on a section, you, it brings up the right side of the screen where then you can edit it further. So for instance here, when I go ahead and I click, let's just get this guy out of the way. When I click the announcement bar, it's prompting me to edit this announcement bar up here and it allows me to customize it over here. When I hit the header, it's bringing me to this section here and giving me a bunch of customization options on the right side. So on and so forth, so you get the point. 
So essentially the first thing that I would want to do is I would want to, before I start diving into this, which you can if you want, but before that, I would want to go to the theme settings and start checking out some things that the overall things that I want to change on the website as a whole. So when I come in here and I hit colors, it's going to pop up every single part of my website that has a color and I would come in here and edit my colors accordingly. And how I got here again is you come into, this is the sections icon, this is the theme icon, which is how you control the theme as a whole. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to change the colors. And one thing to note here to make your life a lot easier, every color has its own unique code. So instead of like trying to match all the colors, I would come down here, copy this code, and then just come down here and paste it in the other area that I want it to be in. So you'll see what it says, the sale price, the store name is this color, the background color. And sometimes you have to just mess with it and change the color to see what actually pops there, pops up and where it's showing. So that's one of the first things that I would do. You have a layout option, use full width layout on collection pages. I actually do want this, so I'm going to update that. That's just making sure that everything is full width when it's on a full screen. So it's going from one end to the other. Let's see what else, how that shows actually on the collection page. So if I go to mud cloth here, it should display full width, yep. And honestly, I like it optimized like this best because I like when it's full width, it just looks a lot more professional. Let's go back here to our theme setting. The typography, this is the, the type of fonts that you want to use throughout your website. So they're gonna have a lot of fonts ready for you to go, so you can change it in here. A lot of customizations in here when it comes to your fonts, um, your button style. And again, like because this is a paid theme, you get all these little in detail customizations where like the button style, is it all caps or is it normal with small letters? and big letters. It's the shape of the button slightly rounded or sharp. So you see how these little buttons here are slightly rounded. That's what it's referring to. And in those in-depth customizations, just you don't get that on the free theme. It's giving me options of how I want my collection grid to show up. So actually what that was doing on the collection page, so in my drop-down menu, I have all these collections, but if I wanted to view all my collections, I hit pillow covers and that's actually what that's saying is the text is centered on this page instead of centered left, which that is actually like it. I like it in the center better. And where we get to the product grid, grid um, it's giving me a bunch of other customizations. So that's saying when I go to a mud cloth collection here, inside of here is where I can then go ahead and change from a product grid view. So products per view on mobile, we have um, text alignment is to the left. We're actually like it to the left better there. Quick buy link style button, which looks like this when you click on it, the quick buy button, where you can add it to cart straight from here or check out right away. Swatches is if you offer variations of a color, if you come into swatches, you can enable swatches. So essentially, this doesn't really work great for this because I don't have different colors in this, but if I was selling jewelry, for instance, and I had a gold and a silver option, it would be a little circle of that color. Then you can add your social media icons. So if you come up here, you see our Pinterest and our Instagram linked there. Your favicon, your favicon is your logo that shows up up here. So as you can see up here, it's not just the Shopify logo, it's actually our logo. Really, really cool features overall. I would come in here and explore each one of these things and not overlook you know, all the customizations that they offer. Because remember, again, this is like, you know, Buying a theme for 300 is a lot cheaper than paying some, you know, <laughs> website designer who's going to charge you thousands of dollars. Even I know some people that have paid thousands of dollars for Shopify themes, which I would not recommend you do unless you just do not have the time and you have the money. 
Now that we have gone ahead and done some housekeeping to do's, now let's go through building out some sections on the front end of the website. So as we kind of looked at before, you can come in here and hit the announcement bar and it's gonna highlight each, each section as we go down there. Now, keeping in mind all of the key attributes that we talked before, so having that intuitive menu bar, having fast load times, making sure that it's compatible for mobile and desktop. And we know that it's going to be compatible for mobile because we can view it right here on mobile and see what it's going to look like on a cell phone um, versus full screen on desktop. So making sure that it's compatible for both. Now, what I would recommend, whether you use this theme or any other theme, is just to come down here and start exploring all of the sections and also moving sections. So you can come over here and just pick up a section and move it or drop it down, coming to the add section and you know exploring all of these different options that they have for you. And it's also making sure that we're showcasing our products within that first three seconds that you're seeing something or there's buttons to go buy something right away. Super, super easy um, and very, very intuitive. Now I want to show you um, some other cool stuff that this theme offers. So not only, you know, very easy and very intuitive, they have the option to integrate with my review software, which is Luke's. So Luke's, if I come to my app here, Luke's is how we actually collect reviews for our website. Reviews are very, very important. And just like, you know, the Shopify store has a bunch of key attributes, key things with how we use Luke's as well um, that are important. And some of those important attributes is that one, the reviews are actually showing up underneath the product. So sometimes on e-commerce websites, they don't, you don't actually get to see the review on the collection page. You can only see it once you get to the actual product page. And what I mean by that is if I click on mud cloth, sometimes you don't see the reviews here. You only see it once you click over. So you want to make sure that you're setting that up so that you can see reviews there um, as well as you know we're sh we're showcasing reviews as in many spots on our website not just on the actual product listings so we're showing it on the collection pages we have an entire loops review widget here where that's the second thing they see they see you know shop this shop they see our navigation bar they have many things that they have already to buy and then the second thing that they see is there are social proof and the cool thing about loops is that loops doesn't just collect written testimonial reviews it collects photo and video reviews so and not only does it collect it for you but it will send reminders for you via email to get them to send a review with an upsell. So you can ask them, you know, if you leave a photo, if you leave a review, great, but if you leave a review with a video or a photo, we're actually gonna send you a discount for that leaving that review. So and you can come in here and customize how much the discount is, when it actually is sent, so on and so forth. Just like, you know, setting up the theme, come in here into your Loops dashboard and you can explore each one of these um, and how you specifically want to set it up for your use case. So not only do we have it in a widget here, but we also have an entire reviews page. So the reviews now are integrated with a whole page dedicated, you know, all of the social proof that we've collected. Super, super powerful stuff. There's other ways and other widgets that you can mess with as well, which I highly, highly recommend. Now, another thing that this theme offers that a lot of other themes don't is a pop-up form. So if I come in here and uh, enable this pop-up form, it's going to start collecting emails for me. Sometimes you have to pay for other services to have a pop-up form. So I really recommend whether you're doing this through Clean Canvas or not, you need to be collecting their email and ideally their phone number and i know some people when they first start out they're like i don't want to do that that's annoying or that's spammy i, I hate the pop-up forms but believe it or not you know 20 to up to 40 percent of your sales are going to become from retargeting meaning sending out email campaigns or sms text message campaigns so it's almost vital that you are or collecting um you know phone numbers and emails because like i mentioned before maybe out of 100 people that visit your website you might only have a you know two to five percent conversion rate meaning two to five people purchase that come to your website 
but you, you know, you might get 30 or four, 30 or 40 people out of those hundred actually giving you their contact information. So that's just upping your probability that, that you can then retarget them with some emails and texts to get them to come back to your website. Because again, people don't always purchase the first time, you know, it might take them three, four, you know, up to 10 times. Sometimes up to, some people say up to 21 times to come back to your website and actually make that purchase, purchase decision. So if you can up that probability, which you will drastically by sending emails and SMS campaigns, which I have a lot of videos about email and SMS marketing inside my channel as well. Um, so you can check out those videos as well, which are super, super vital um, to, you know, making more money. So you can have a pop-up that has an incentive offer in it as well. Um, because that is super valuable. And once you integrate this with your email software or wherever you're sending out emails from, you should be able to set up an automation that once somebody puts their email in here, that you they can then send uh, that, that discount code. In this theme, once you actually come to a product page, you can see the, cus the further customizations here that it offers. So again, I can't emphasize this enough. It's really annoying when you are on a free theme and you can't make these customizations. So I love that you can actually come in here. When I click on the product page, it gives me actual options to edit you know where the title is going to actually be where the star rating shows up where the price shows up and it also allows me to add more sections um, from before to the product page as well which a lot of things don't allow you to do but overall this is pretty much how you're going to go about it's really just drag and drop um, and taking your images and putting them where you want and a really good way to get inspired if you feel like you're not really great at doing this or you're not really good at being a designer is coming over to pinterest and just getting inspired um, you can come in here and type in you know a boutique website start getting ideas for websites on pinterest um, some colors some fonts that go good together pulling from you know things that you already like on the internet basically and getting inspired by those colors or those fonts and you know seeing what looks good together and don't be hard on yourself it's not always your first try is not always the best we're not born you know graphic designers or website builders and finally as promised because you stayed to the end i'm going to share with you my secret sauce check out page conversion trick that should increase your conversion rate by at least 20 percent what this actually is is when you go to set up your checkout page a lot of times inside of your shopify store when you get to that final complete purchase pay now pay, checkout page the language that's actually being used is words like pay or purchase and so what i'm going to suggest you do and to actually try this out for yourself obviously if you're a brand new store and you have a never collect data on your checkout page before you're not going to see a difference what you're actually going to do is you're going to go into your settings of your shopify store and then you're going to hit checkout and then what you're going to do is when you scroll to the bottom here and go to manage checkout language and in the manage checkout language section what's going to pop up here is a bunch of different options for you to change the language that exists on that page so some of that language in here is is pay now button and so what I'm suggesting you do is come down here instead of it saying pay now make it complete order or place order or something like anything other than pay or purchase the psychology behind that is people technically don't like to pay for things they don't want to think about losing the money that they're about to lose when they buy that thing even though they want to buy that um, so just by switching the language in that button it actually changes the whole psychology and the emotional process that somebody goes through when they're going to make that purchase decision with that being said guys that was my last secret sauce tip if you got any value out of this video make sure you go ahead and comment your questions down below subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in some more videos bye guys